It all began on a seemingly ordinary day when Victoria Police arrested a 44-year-old man, a former immigration detainee, charging him with numerous sexual offences. The arrest caught the attention of Susan Lay, deputy opposition leader of the Conservative Liberal Party. Lay took to social media, posting a provocative message that soon ignited a firestorm of controversy. If you do not want to see Australian women being assaulted by foreign criminals, vote against Labour, she stated. This tweet, posted just days before a key by-election in Dunkley, Victoria, was met with outrage. Despite growing calls for its removal, the tweet remained on the social media platform the following day. The plot thickened when, on Thursday, Victoria Police issued a public apology. They had arrested the wrong man. The real culprit, they revealed, was a different, similar-looking man, identified via closed-circuit video images. It is clear the person arrested is not the offender, Victoria Police Commander Mark Galliott confessed. We are sincerely sorry that this person has been detained. The man wrongly arrested was among 149 immigration detainees who had been released from detention following a high court ruling that they could not be held indefinitely. Many of these detainees had criminal records. In response to the tweet, Anthony Albanese, the centre-left Labour Party Prime Minister, criticised the opposition for shooting from the hip and running a fear campaign about the release of immigrants into the community. You have a fear campaign about everything and a solution for nothing, Albanese said. Susan Lay fired back, accusing the government of failing to keep the community safe by not adequately tracking released immigration detainees with criminal records. As a woman, I'm not taking a backward step on this and I'm calling it out, she declared. In summary, an arrest that led to a political storm has exposed the deep divisions in Australian politics over immigration and crime. The incident has further intensified the debate over the handling of immigration detainees with criminal records and their impact on community safety. As the dust settles, one thing is clear. This event will leave a lasting impact on Australian politics, potentially influencing voter sentiment and future policy decisions. Jump.